Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful colorful Hichol styles flower earrings. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell and in this way you will be inspired often usually twice a week and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. If you're new here consider to subscribe and if not you could skip this intro definitely because now I have timestamps but I have just a few words to say. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials linked to my store link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see it and share it on my community tab on YouTube. You will also see matching and similar tutorials in description that you could check out and you will see a link to my second channel with the fast clips now guys thank you so much for watching thank you for sharing commenting and liking you don't know how much of a support this is and now i'm going to start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads as well and i'm using yellow orange green and black and here I use this beautiful earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and I'm going to start by picking up 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay, and I have my 12 beads here and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I make my knot by make a loop and go twice through the loop I've made and pull and then I will make one more knot. And when I pull, I make sure that I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. And I pull. Then I will go through some beads in this direction. Okay, so now I have this. And in my next step, I'm going to take a yellow, an orange and a yellow. Okay, this is what I have and I go back in circle through this bead that I'm exiting out of. Okay. Now I have this. I have a loop between this black bead and these three beads and I make something like a cross of four when I pull or this is also called right angle weave. Now I go through two beads in this direction. And I'm going to take a yellow, an orange and a an yellow and I go like the same way like I did before, like this in circle. Then I go in the next two black beads. And then again guys, yellow, orange, yellow. I go back through this bead, but I want to save time. That is why I will go directly to the next two beads. And so I'm going through three beads in total. Still having a loop here between the beads. But in this way, I'm saving time because I'm already here where I want to be. And now I will show you faster the last three moves. If it's too fast for you, you could slow down the video or rewind and see how I'm doing the first part. And repeat it. Okay. 
okay guys and now this row is ready and I'm going in the following black bead then I will also go through the yellow in this direction and then I will go through the orange and after that I need an orange a black and an orange and I'm going like this then again an orange a black and an orange and I go in the next orange that is sticking out and now I will show you this row faster Okay guys, and I added my last orange black orange. Now I'm exiting out of this black bead, you see, and I want to exit out of the next orange. Okay. Now what I need are three orange beads. Okay. And I'm skipping the next orange that's on my way or the middle orange and I go in the next orange now I have this then I go in the next black and in the next orange and I take three orange beads skip the orange that's on my way i'm exiting out of the first orange skipping the middle or the second one and going through the third and you could also go through the next black and through the next orange just to save time just like this and if you feel it's loose just tighten it up okay and now guys I think you got the idea and you will be able to make this row by yourself okay see you in a while when I'm up to here if you don't know how to continue just rewind and repeat this part from here and meet me okay guys and I just finished this row here and I'm exiting out of the black bead you see I'm exiting out of this black bead if you don't might see my thread here it is and now I want to go through the next orange bead just like this and what I need here is a black a green and a black and I go here one orange before the black one just like that and in circle okay I have this then I go through the following two beads and what I need next is a black a green and a black black green black two yellows and then I repeat black green and black okay this is what i have and i'm exiting out of this bead that's sticking out the most and i will go back in circle through this bead at the top here okay now i have this and in my next step i will go here one orange bead after the black one you see where my needle goes out of this is where you should be okay you see my thread now and now what I need is the same thing like I did before a black a green and a black here at the inner edge you need black green black and I go back like this okay then I go two beads away from here 
and I will take the same sequence black green black two yellows black green and black okay here is the sequence black green black two yellows black green black and go back here through the top okay then I will show you one more time the whole process I'm exiting one orange bead after the black one at the angle and I take black green black and I go back here just like this then I go through two beads in this direction and I'm taking the same sequence here okay here is the familiar sequence and I'm going back okay now I will continue these three steps off camera and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am at my last step where i add my last sequence of beads and what i want to do next is go in this direction through those beads like this like this then i'm going through the yellow through one of those two yellows and I'm taking one orange and now guys what I want to do is flip my work it's not obligatory but I prefer to do this because I'm right-handed and it's easier for me in this direction you could definitely do it in the other direction if you want okay now here I'm adding one orange okay then in my next step I'm going through the black and through the green here in this direction if it's loose pull it and make it tight now I'm taking one green and I'm going here through this middle green bead then I take one more green and I'm going through this bead that's sticking out and I'm filling the gaps here between the green beads and I will continue doing this here as well and I'm also adding orange beads okay I take orange bead go through the yellow black and green I take one green go through the following green take one more green and go through the following green and this row guys is really pleasant and really easy because you're just filling the gaps here orange between the yellows like this and greens to fill the gaps here between the green beads and I will continue orange greens until the end and I'll meet you here okay guys and I'm here where I need to add my last green bead and by the way if you finish it like this and change the colors you could have a really beautiful star but I will continue anyways and how I continue I go in this direction and I go here at the angle through all of the five green beads
and I'm going to take five greens. Okay, I have five, and I'm going back in circle through those green beads. just like this okay then I'm going in this direction through all of the five greens and I take five and I go back in circle through those five greens and I'll show you faster one more, more time and I think you will be able to do this by yourself until the end. Okay, five. Okay, guys, and I will continue off camera and I'll be back. Okay, and here I am where I add my last five beads from this row. If you forgot how I'm doing it, you could always rewind the video and see and repeat, 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 because it's one and the same thing until the end. Now, what I want to do is exit out of this orange bead. What I want to take are four black beads. Okay, four of them and i will go here through the middle of these five green beads i have one two here one and then one two and this is the middle one or the third one counting from here then i take four again okay four and i go here through this orange then four again and I go here through the middle green or the third one counting from here and I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end four and go here okay guys and I will continue this and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and this is the last four of this row and by the way you could finish it like this but i prefer to make another row another colorful row and in order to do this i'm going through this black after this green and what i'm going to take is a yellow an orange and a an yellow and I go back in circle through those beads just like this then I want to reach here one black bead after this orange you see where my thread is here after this bead and I'm going to take three yellows and I go back in circle like this through those three beads. Now I have this. Then I go through all of the beads here in this direction. And I need yellow, orange and yellow. And I'm going back like this. Okay, you see, then I go in this direction and I'm exiting after the black, which is right after the orange, and I need three yellows. Okay, go back. Okay, and I will continue this until the end and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I add my last three beads from this row. 
And what I want to do next is exit out of this orange here. Okay, just like this. And now I'm going to take my earring finding and I will take a black and a green. Then I will take my earring finding, go through it, slide it down. And then a green and a black and I'm going back through the orange. Okay. So this is what I have now. Black, green, earring finding, green, black and go back. And now I'm going to reinforce this. Okay, now what I want to do is go in this direction, make a knot and cut my thread and I will choose a place to make a knot, let's say here after the orange and I'm making here a loop and I go once, then I go second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull and then I go in this direction and I could repeat this knot several more times when I'm ready I'm going in this direction and cutting my thread and uh, you see how this work pops up from this side you see I think it's a really beautiful effect and I think you should attach your earring finding like this so this part that pops up to be the front part. Okay, now my earring is ready. Okay guys, so now my colorful Hichol style flower earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe in this way you will be inspired often usually twice a week and you will be able to make beautiful matching sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my facebook and Instagram pages. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. You don't know how much of a support this is. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you and bye bye from me.